Welcome back. We're here at one of the custom homes of Old Hampshire Designs. And joining me now is Stacy Herlitz. She's events coordinator with Wellback Mountain. Welcome, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, Wellback's had quite the transition over the past few years. Talk a little bit about how that all happened. Um, three years ago, um, Wellback was in danger of being, going the way of so many of the small mountains, mm -hmm. um, community mountains that there wasn't a, you know, a lot of snow or a lot of money and um, they just were struggling and a group of people in the community up in Enfield got together and decided to save it. And so there was a big campaign that happened. It was Save the Whale. Some, <laughs> some people may remind, be reminded of that. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically what happened is they got together and they did, they bought it and they have been running it for the last um, three years. We're going into our fourth season. Okay, good. And you've got a capital campaign going on right now too to add to that. We do. Um, we're in the middle of a $2.4 million dollar capital campaign mm -hmm. so we're looking you know to continue that um, for operating expenses obviously and last winter wasn't great but yeah. we're optimistic the year before was really great so we're right. really hoping to you know build on that and continue absolutely great well and part of the reason you're here is that you've got some great events off season now you're yes. using you're using whale back all year round that was the that was one of the things that they decided that that was a great idea to you know not just use the mountain during the winter because obviously that's one way to to do that, but so many of the other areas, uh, ski areas around have found other ways to use the facility. So we've always rented out the facility, the, the lodge, you can rent it for weddings, reunions, birthday parties, and different things. Mm -hmm. um, but we also are gonna have a number of different events there this summer and fall. Okay, great. Start off with the one that's coming up in a couple weeks in June. Right, um, in June, there. well actually July I think is the first one. Okay, um, we oh have, yeah, I'm sorry, yep. Yep, it's gonna be, we're gonna have the Redneck Warrior event. Yep. And that is gonna be um, 16th and 17th. It's gonna be an all weekend event. It's a timed obstacle course. <laughs> and it's gonna be fun for the whole family. There's okay. something for everybody there. There's gonna be vendors, there'll be food, there'll be music, and it's gonna be really funny. I think it will be really fun for a lot of people. That so. sounds fun. Yeah, those yeah. have gotten very popular. Yeah, it's, I think it's along the lines of like the Tough Mudders and that kind of thing. Yeah. So it's for all skill levels and there'll be prizes and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a local person, it's somebody from Vermont who's done this before. and. Um, it's, I think it should be really fun. That'll so. be really fun. And then outdoor movies. Yes. So July 28th, we're going to try, um, right before Old Home Days in Enfield, we're going to try an outdoor movie, mm -hmm. kind of reminiscent of like when we were kids and we used to go to the drive-in with our I parents. I love the drive-in, yes. I did too. And so I thought, you know, why not try that? And we have a perfect facility, you know, a perfect outdoor area for it. And so um, we found a, a place in Manchester that will bring everything up to us. And it's a giant ins uh, inflatable screen. And <laughs> They'll set it all up and you can sit on our giant deck outside of the lodge, nice. which will, you know, kind of be a perfect venue for it. So you really don't even have to bring chairs and a blanket if you don't want. And it's, you know, really reasonable amount per car load. And you can bring the whole family and it will, I think we're going to do something like an 80s reminiscent kind of thing, something family friendly. Okay. Um, and kick off the summer, you know, have something really fun to do on, and see how that, you know, how people receive that. That sounds fun. Well, our, our time outdoors is so limited here in the exactly. Northeast. You might as well be outside as much as possible. Exactly. You know, and we might have the pub open, you know, so the parents can have, you know, a little beverage during that night and yeah. the kids can, you know, really enjoy themselves and, you know, we'll see what happens. I love that. It's so old fashioned. Yeah, I, that's what <laughs> that's I thought. Great. It was kind of a throwback and we'll have like an, I thought we might do like an 80s movie with like a Goonies or a Caddyshack or something fun like that. Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Well, good. And so then you've got um, pancake breakfast at the end of July too. Right, exactly. And that's part of Enfield's Old Home Day and we'll be marching in the parade as a group with Whaleback mm -hmm. and um, we'll have that hike up the hill if the weather's permitting yeah. and that will be that same weekend. Great. And then it um, looks like in September, you're teaming up with one of our favorite partners, Kearsarge Magazine. Yes, mm -hmm. Kearsarge Magazine and um, the kids, their kids magazine, kids yeah. stuff. We are teaming up with them and we are going to do a big family festival oh, type fun. family fest, I guess mm -hmm. is what they're going to call it. And um, we are going to do that on September 24th. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be, I think, 10 to 2 or 10 to 3. We're yeah. still working out the details. But I met with them last week and we're going to have vendors and there's going to be games and fun and it's going to be a great family event. That sounds great. And then to wrap up the season before the snow flies and we can start skiing again, you've got a car show and then a craft fair. Exactly. Perfect. Yeah, we're going to try to do, um, we're definitely having the craft fair, I mean the classic car show that will be um, the weekend of Columbus Day. Weekend of Columbus Day. We yeah. did the, the first one last year, mm -hmm. so we'll be doing that again. And that was very successful. It was really fun. And then the next thing we're going to try to do is a uh, craft fair. And we're going to try to do that in conjunction with New Hampshire Open Doors and New Hampshire Made because that's primarily, you know, 
Yeah, great weekend for that. We get lots of traffic in in our state at that time. Exactly, it's leaf peeping and that kind of thing. We're just going to make sure it doesn't happen during that election weekend. Yeah. (laughs) Well, perfect. Well, thanks so much. It's so great to know that's right up the road. Something to do all year round at Whaleback. You've got a great website which has got a lot more information on the dates, times, etc. So we have that up on the screen right now. Our viewers can check that out. Have a great summer season. Thank you. Thanks, Stacy.